Welcome people. So let's start off with the drugs for typhoid. This question has been asked five times. They not only want to know the drugs for typhoid, they also want to know the dose. Okay. So typhoid is caused by what? Salmonella typhi bacteria. Okay. It is detected by Vidal test. Okay. Some introduction you can give here. Okay, third generation cephalosporins like ceftriaxone can be given parenterally injection IV. 4 gram daily for 2 days followed by uh, half the dose. Then it is expensive obviously and it requires 7 to 10 days of treatment. It can give, give, be given to carriers also. Fluoroquinolone, ciprofloxacin. 750 mg tablet 750 mg bd uh, twice daily <clears throat> it's the first line of drug so profloxacin you can also give ofloxacin chloramphenicol was the first uh, line of drug before earlier used as first line not now now it is not reliable what they used to give in chloramphenicol is uh, 500 mg or 0.5 gram <clears throat> 6 hourly till fever subsides then 0.25 gram 6 hourly for another 5 to 7 days. Then you have azithromycin for multi-drug resistant typhoid. How much will you give that? That you will give 500 uh, gram sorry 500 mg. What am I saying? 500 mg guys 500 mg once daily for 7 days. It is a macrolide antibiotic. Coming to everything that is non-important Cotrimoxazole, which is nothing but a combination of sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim and 5 is to 1 concentration. It is rarely used now. Ampicillin, amoxicillin, no longer dependable. Response rate is low. Combination therapy, no evidence that it works. That's all. See you. Bye-bye. Yes, one more thing. Just let's look at this again. Okay, S How does it uh, affect the bacteria? Ceftriaxone. It is a third generation cephalosporin, right? So it will do cell wall synthesis will be inhibited. Okay. Fluoroquinolones, DNA gyrase inhibition. Okay. Then chloramphenicol protein synthesis inhibition, just just like tetracycline. Azithromycin is macrolide antibiotic. It is also protein synthesis inhibitor.